Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, today I'm going to change the tires on Barbara's Dutch bike. We had this bike for over two years. We picked this up in Germany two summers ago. And, um, well, the tires aren't that great, you know. But I managed to get some replacement tires. They are not brand, brand new, but they are in excellent condition. So it's about time to put them on. The reason I've been holding off on this is, number one, Barbara isn't riding this very much here because we have a lot of hills. And this is a heavy bike. It's got a three speed. And um, yeah, it's not the best for the hills. And the other reason, of course, is because that's a Dutch bike. I haven't worked on a Dutch bike before. I like them because it's just perfect to have a chain that's completely protected. I like uh, drum brakes because they are also better protected from the elements than a rim brake or even a disc brake perhaps. And uh, what else? I like the three-speed hub. Everything about it. But working on it is a different matter. I, I just have no experience with this. So uh, yeah, that's why am I making a movie about it? Because when I tried to search this on YouTube, what I found was so-so and I thought maybe if I can figure this out, maybe I can make a video that can help somebody else. So there you go. Bear with me. It's not going to turn out perfect. I already know that, but hey, let's have fun. So one of the first things I have to do would be to undo this drum brake. I don't think that's too difficult. Ta-da! That was easy. Next step, the shifter cable. Of course, it's got a cover on there. Now this beautiful chain guard most certainly has to come off. Looks like a daunting task. One thing I know for sure is that the wheel nuts have to come off, so why not now? So yeah, I'm not sure if I have to take off this chain guard at all. Removed all these screws there, it should come off. I should be able to pry this off. The chain looks surprisingly clean compared to the way they usually look. It's well lubricated, it's clean. We've undone all this. We've loosened the wheel nuts on both sides. Here's the brake cable, that's also undone. This chain slack adjuster on one side is missing a nut and a spacer. On the other side it's there, so I'll have to fiddle with that for a bit. I guess I just have to loosen it off and see how much clearance this gives me. I have to pull this wheel all the way back, which means first I have to pull it all the way that way, that I can take the chain off of it. That should be easy to do actually. I think so far it was pretty straightforward, pretty simple. The chain guard, I don't know if I have to take it off or not, but there are chain tensioners that I have to loosen up and then see if it gives me enough clearance to pull the wheel out of the dropout. This part here, I'm not quite sure how to take this off, but all the screws are undone, so possibly it's not that complicated. I'll just have to fiddle with it, I guess. Here's another part to undo. Those plastic caps just came off. They just slide on, no problem. The chain guard is plastic and it's kind of springy, so due to its shape, you have to fiddle with it to get it off. Yeah. 
So as far as I can see, what needs to happen is that this other half of the uh, chain protector also has to come off because otherwise I won't be able to get the chain off of the chain wheel in the front there. And there's another screw right behind there that I have to undo. And then it should just come off. Yeah, I should turn this around so you can see what I'm doing. So there you have it, a little bit chaotic, which that's just me. I don't know what I'm doing with Dutch bike, but changing a tire should be simple. And it turns out it is simpler than I was expecting. So just going to change the tire on this now, and then um, we're going to reinstall the wheel. Changing the tires no different than on any other bike. So I accelerated the footage here. Slow it down if you need to see it. And listen to the music. North America and these uh, Dunlop valves that are originally on the Holland bike just aren't very popular here. I've got some tubes with Schrader valves that that'll go on here. I like to put the tube inside the tire before I get the rim involved. These old tires must have been on there for a decade plus. There's so much, you know, dried up rubber on the rim. I scraped it all off or pretty much I got all of it off camera. And uh, the one thought that came to my mind as I'm doing this is because this bike is a lot more involved to remove the wheel, especially the rear one, I would highly recommend tire liners for this because when uh, you get a flat, you have to undo all this, see? If you have a tire liner, it reduces the chance of getting those flats. Which, sometimes you get lucky, you know, you, you don't have one all summer long and then it's good, you know. Especially, Barbara doesn't ride this all that much. But if it happens, then uh, it's likely going to sit there for a while until I get the time to put a new tube in there or, or just undo it and patch it. So. Yeah, I don't have that on hand, but I think I might look that up, you know, tire liners for this, then put them aside till the day that the flat will come. Well, maybe I won't, but it'd be a good idea. Yeah. And now finally putting the tire back on the rim. Even putting it back on the bike should be fairly simple, but will there be any surprises? There weren't really, but it took some fiddling because there are so many parts involved here. Now, almost getting done here. This is the bracket for the drum brake I'm putting back. Before we tighten the wheel, we have to put some tension on the chain. And remember, one side is missing the nut and the spacer for the adjustment. Will it be a problem? No! It 
It would have been really sweet to have this adjuster on both sides, but you don't really need it. You can just manhandle the wheel and wing it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, the wheel is in here. It's tight. It's um, it's running in the like centered and everything. So uh, the chain has enough tension. Oh, don't quote me on that. I gotta double check that actually. Those um, chain tensioners that are manual, I I don't know. I I like my derailers because you don't have to worry about that stuff. But I think in this case, we're looking quite okay. The wheel is moving. The noise you're hearing, it's the chain guard that I now have to reassemble. The other things are the linkage for the brake. And of course, the gear shifters. There's only three gears. It's a, a, a shifter, bifter hub. Huh? So. It's all good. I'm quite happy with this so far. Didn't pump up the tire yet. That was more or less just to give me more clearance to move the wheel around. So now it should be just a matter of a few minutes and that part is done. The main thing was the rear wheel because I really had no idea how to take this apart. So it looks like I was successful. Still have to put the cover on that. The, you know the shifter cable there lots of covers on this bike which which is nice when you're riding it because stuff doesn't get messed up like it does on the derailleur bikes the chain will last like probably a decade or so i don't know but everything looks like brand new under there the problem is like when you have to work on it it's more work I'll try to film whatever I can before my battery runs out again. That's battery number three, just for this one video, believe it or not. So if it shuts off, give me a like button anyways. If you're not subscribed to my channel, do it now. well, I, I do stuff like that and I do a whole lot of other stuff. From here on, the assembly is the reverse of the disassembly. I'm showing it here in fast motion to make this video most engaging. Thumbs up means it's going well. We're almost there. So there you have it. This bike's now good to go. The front tire is, however, not fit for long rides. So I'll have to change that. But right now, I'm just simply out of time. I'm going to pack up and probably go at it again tomorrow. Or whenever but at least we got this far that was the big one the rear one <laughs>